Well, Happy New Year, Wintersburg family, and welcome to our first Wednesday prayer meeting of 2021. Uh, Ann and I, we've been traveling up and down the Central Coast area, and as we were traveling down Highway 101, we were noticing all the cattle that were dotting the hills, and it reminded me of that scripture from Psalm 50 that God uh, owns all the cattle on a thousand hills, and so I wanted to uh, be able to find a scene with cattle on hills, but uh, it was easier said than done as um, uh, these cattle are on these private ranches that are uh, inaccessible to the public. So we've had to travel all over creation to find a cattle scene of them being on hills. And we finally found one um, kind of like in the North Santa Barbara area. And uh, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, <clears throat> This scripture, of course, talks about um, God being the creator of heaven and earth. And um, in Psalm 24, 12, um, it says um, that the earth is the Lord. Um, let's see. Um, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. For he founded it on the seas and established it on the waters. So if we ever have any doubt of God's ability to provide for us, know that he has resources that no human on earth has. He owns everything, being the creator. So for today's scripture meditation, um, I wanted to uh, read from James 1.17. Every good thing given and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shifting shadow. So um, let's take time to meditate on that scripture and this part of God's creation. Well, welcome back, and I hope that you enjoyed that time. Um, I pray that uh, if you ever do feel an anxious about your future or about God's ability to provide, just uh, that you would be able to remember uh, the scripture that that uh, every good thing that we have um, does come from Him, and uh, He's more than able to provide for us. Um, <clears throat> this week, uh, we want to welcome back the Wintersburg Hula team who um, did a dance back in September that we filmed at Crystal Cove Beach uh, to the song Shout to the Lord. So I pray you'll be blessed by that. And also we welcome back uh, Josh Chan, who last prayed on Wednesday prayer back in June, I believe. And uh, he has since um, <clears throat> had to move to Texas uh, due to all the shutdowns and uh, so he is going to be there for several months, but he is planning on returning. Uh, he will be giving, giving us an update on his life uh, during this pandemic and uh, lead us in prayer. So I hope all of you have a blessed week and stay close to the Lord. Psalm 95. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. Yeah. 
Hey everyone, it's Josh Chan, and I've been asked by Mike to give a follow-up video updating on how things have been since the last time I did this video. So, I think the past couple of months, um, it's it's been discouraging in the sense that, yeah, uh, when the gym reopened at the time, I lost a good amount of clients. Um, I, at the time I was about 25% of where I wanted to be and uh, did some calculations and I th thought it would probably take about uh, 24 to 30 weeks before I, I'd be able to have um, the client base as a trainer that I wanted. And this recent shutdown, uh, it's been it's been really irritating, uh, if I'm to be honest, um, and to say the least. Um, and yet, like I said before, I think in every situation, there's something to be upset and grieve about. There's all, still always something to be grateful for. And I think with this more recent shutdown, one good thing is... Um, I have more time to work on my life coach endeavor. Uh, I think I mentioned that last time. Um, if I haven't mentioned it before, uh, I want to be a relationship and personal development coach. Uh, and my specialty would be to help people learn how to have positive relationships with other people who don't have the same worldviews or values as they do. Uh, example it would be if you were a conservative, how do you build a positive relationship with a liberal? How do you communicate yourself in a way that's honest and true to how you see things and yet not unnecessarily irritating or offensive? Um, that's my specialty. And one thing that I'm grateful for is more time to work on that. I am excited to say that uh, within the next few weeks, I plan to launch my website uh, and hopefully be certified uh, with the Christian Coach Institute. Uh, if you're curious what the name of the website is, it's www.cloud-n-fire.com. Cloud and fire, right? So um, I'll just say it one more time, www.cloud-n-fire.com. And yeah, uh, that's that's exciting. Uh, again, if I didn't have this further um, free time, I guess I I I'd, I'd still be behind. So that's one update for me. Um, and and yeah, I think overall, uh, I think just trying to make the best of the situation because that's really all I think that we can do, right? Um, you know, trust in God um, and make the best. So uh, with that said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, yeah, just lead us in a time of prayer again. Uh, God, yeah, uh, this recent, these recent times have been, there's definitely been a lot of frustration, a lot of irritation. Um, but I trust that you know what you're doing. Um, I trust that there are opportunities that come within these times. Um, I pray for the wisdom and encouragement for me and for everyone, uh, to, yeah, to be able to capitalize on those. I also pray for healing. I also pray for healing from... Uh, any bouts of isolation, anxiety, or depression that people might be feeling uh, from being separated for so long. Uh, I pray for healing financially. Uh, people who've lost clients, who've had their businesses hurt, or whose hours have been cut down. Um, I know the stress of uh, unem of any further uh, coronavirus financial aid from the government uh, might be weighing heavily on people's minds. It's, it's weighing on mine. Um, I trust that you'll make things, that you know what you're doing. Um, you're guiding this process. And um, I also pray for healing uh, just in the sense of uh, relationships. Um, I think politically it's a very tumultuous situation. Um, there are people on both sides who are very angry and furious and irritated at the situation, at each other. Uh, 
yeah, I, I pray um, for a softening of hearts um, and for people who would be able to be at a point where they would be able to hear and listen one another, uh, hear and listen to one another. So, uh, God, I, yeah, I thank you for the good things that you have done, and I look forward to the further, further things that you will do. I thank you, and I pray in your name. Amen.